Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's July 14th, Thursday morning. Well, we've got the USDA weekly sale export sales numbers out uh, here this morning. Uh, the corn trade average was 1.5 to 2 million metric tons. It came in at 1.68, so right in the middle of the uh, range. Soybeans, we had good exports there, 656,000 tons. Trade was looking for 450 to 650. In the wheat, uh, in the higher end of the range, 519,000 tons. Trade was expecting 350 to 650. But now the factor that's influencing the market uh, the most here today and tomorrow, we believe, is the weather. Uh, you see local uh, channels now in Chicago especially talking about heat, talking about how heat is going to increase. Although we had 60 degrees this morning, uh, by Friday and Saturday we could have highs in the uh, mid-90s. And that could stay around for most of next week as uh, some of the uh, longer term projections here on local television has given us. The uh, main uh, forecast uh, coming out of uh, long range uh, forecasters for the 11 to 16 day period is what we're watching closely uh, today overnight or the late runs yesterday took a little bit of that heat out, put a little moisture in, not a lot, still kept it uh, on the hot side in uh, most of the Midwest. And the uh, the big question is going to be the ridge building, more uh, heat and uh, less moisture in the uh, Midwest. If this ridge stays around longer than three to five days, we could cause uh, damage here in pollination. We're right in that uh, pollination time where uh, this week is where we're seeing uh, pollination coming on the uh, earlier planted corn and then on the late planted corn that uh, last 50 percent uh, they it will not pollinate probably until the uh, uh, middle part of the first week in August so uh, we've got some time to uh, uh, maneuver here where the heat may not uh, have its dramatic effect but it's a matter of how long does this uh, heat last and how big of an area. We know the uh, southern plains is hot and dry. It seems like that's where uh, most of the heat will continue to hold. And how far does it expand into the, uh, the Midwest uh, corn growing uh, area? So that's what trades focus on uh, dramatically here in the, the next uh, couple days. Uh, the belief is that if we would get some kind of profit taking uh, correction here today as we go into tomorrow, traders are not going to want to be uh, short the market going home on Friday. Would expect that uh, we could see a, a firm close there. Typical weather uh, market type action where uh, you get the emotion coming into the market on Friday and then uh, the fireworks uh, is uh, going to be uh, running wild uh, Sunday night, Monday morning when uh, we actually uh, have a much better handle on what uh, the weather is like. Also, uh, yesterday Bernanke testifying in front of Congress uh, suggested that he's in support of a QE3 type uh, program where uh, which helped uh, commodity prices dramatically yesterday. Uh, I believe he testifies today in front of uh, the Senate. Uh, will he say the same thing? What uh, will be said there if he uh, continues to uh, support further QE uh, um, money supply increases? It's going to uh, support commodities and you'll have a, a risk on type uh, attitude from uh, investors again. So uh, looks like the uh, the commodity markets in general have got uh, good support. Corn and soybeans uh, will get support from the um, from weather situations uh, as well. So uh, look for a lot of volatility here. Very uh, jumpy markets over the uh, the next two sessions. In the livestock trade, uh, cutout values of beef were higher yesterday, uh, $1.27 in choice, select up 23. Pork cutout values were up 47. So uh, we're seeing some strength there, but uh, with the enthusiasm that we've seen in 
futures uh, up until yesterday. We had a, a reversal day in the, the cattle, however. So uh, the standoff is still uh, going on in the country. Is the Packers going to have to pay up for these cattle this week? Uh, they uh, will probably wait as long as they possibly can, as they did last week, uh, if they uh, will pay up. So we'll see. We'll see where uh, where we go there, but uh, the the uh, offers right now are in that 116, 117 range in the uh, the feedlot area. So uh, expecting a uh, higher trade. If the futures uh, would fail further today, uh, that could uh, give the uh, the Packers a little more uh, strength and in the ability to to buy these cattle at uh, steady or a little lower this week. So uh, the uh, that's something that we should know an answer to here uh, either today or early tomorrow. In the uh, pork complex, uh, look for cash hogs to uh, stay firm. We've got this heat coming in. Uh, packers still need inventory. Hog weights are down because of the uh, uh, extreme heat, and we've got a, a week of extreme heat ahead of us, so uh, should find some support there. Cash markets uh, should be strong. We did get export data yesterday from uh, USDA on meat, which usually comes about two months late. Uh, so we're getting May numbers uh, yesterday. Export sales for beef were up 15% over the uh, same period a year ago. Import numbers were down 15%, which is a good uh, good number and a good reason why we're seeing cattle prices as high as we are. Pork uh, had good numbers there as well. Exporting of pork during the month of May uh, was up 13% over a year ago, and imports were down 1%. So uh, some good trends. We'll see if that uh, pattern continues as we get the June data here uh, in a month from now. So uh, again, volatility is the word of the day. Stay in touch with Allendale Research. We're happy to answer any questions you might have. You can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish you a successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.